Hello my friends, happy Saturday. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. It is late in the day, it's actually 3 p.m. on Saturday. My daughter has actually already had two soccer games. We already went to lunch, and my husband and daughter just wanna kinda hang out at the house the rest of the day, so I thought I would run some errands, take you guys along with me, give you some updates on things. I actually, I haven't had a coffee in a little bit, so I just placed an order at Starbucks. I'm going to go pick that up, but we're going to run some errands today. So I want to give you guys an update on this video right here, the Louis Vuitton unboxing. I was so excited about it. I think a lot of you saw that I was having some reservations about the bag. I really, if I buy a luxury handbag like that, I don't like to return it because I try to do a lot of research ahead of time. But unfortunately, I went to go and wear it, and there were two things. Number one, the strap was not adjustable. So when I wore it, it sat really high on me, especially if I wore a jacket. So it wasn't adjustable. And then number two, because of the braided strap, it was beautiful, but I do wear a lot of patterns, and I felt like it kind of clashed a little bit. So... I actually did send it through the mail to return it, unfortunately. I probably should have waited until today to go actually return it to the store because now I'm going to have like heartburn worrying, like hoping that it gets there okay, but I am going to return it. I don't think I really have returned many bags because I really do try to make sure that it's a bag I want. And I'm so bummed because if you watch that unboxing, the bag fit a lot and it was so cute. I loved the lock closure, but I had to be realistic with myself. And I think the braided strap made it a little too dressy. It didn't hit me at a good length and I hated the fact that it wasn't adjustable. So I made the decision, you know what, it's a lot of money. I'm going to return it. So am I going to buy another bag? I don't know, maybe so, maybe not, but I just wanna give you guys an update because on this channel, you come on the whole journey with me. Sometimes bags work out, sometimes they don't, but I definitely like to be transparent with you if I do end up returning a bag. So I did send it back through the mail, so hopefully it gets there okay. Anyway, so my outfit today, I just have a sweatshirt on. I got it from Nordy's. I'm wearing my Chanel earrings. A lot of times I'll wear these when I dress up for a nice occasion, but I've been wearing them when I wear sweaters too. I have my Chanel sunnies I purchased for my birthday. I have some framed jeans on, Veja sneakers, and then my bag of the day is this beauty right here. This is my Chanel 19. I love this bag, but today I discovered a little spot on it, and I can't tell if like the leather is peeling or what it is so I'm just gonna try to ignore it but I will share with you what's in my bag but let me go ahead I'm gonna go to Starbucks now pick up my drink and then I'll share with you what's in my bag later but today on the agenda we're just gonna run some errands and like usual if I get anything I will share that with you guys Okay, I just picked my drink up. I got my usual. It is a grande iced latte, blonde espresso, single shot, one pump of pumpkin, and one stevia. Mmm. I love it, and it's so much better when I haven't had it for a while. It's like a nice treat. Mmm. -hmm. So, let me do a little what's in my bag. I am taking my Chanel 19. I'm actually filming on my phone, but usually I keep my phone in the back pocket here opens like this get a little peekaroo of what's in there and I will show you one of my lovely subscribers recommended these they're called Compede it's instant pain relief for blisters because you know I have been getting blisters but, but I like to wear my, my more athleisure sneakers so I'm bringing these and they're um, they've worked really well so far they're just like these little patches so I have these then I have, this is my Chanel flap key holder. I just did a video on this. It's a comparison between this and my six string key holder from Louis Vuitton. So check that out if you're interested. I have like cards, my keys, everything. I also have my little Chanel mirror. I have a receipt to Lululemon because I returned some shorts that my daughter didn't like. I have some Baccarat Rouge 540. I have some lip gloss by Chanel. Also, the holiday kits have been coming out, and one of the holiday kits includes this, which is Melted Honey. Love this. Then, I also have this. This is by Hermes 
Uh, this is Rose Confetti. Very pretty pink. Love the packaging. And then I also have this. This is my Hermes Compact Kelly Wallet. I've been loving this. The back has a little zipper with a lock, but what I've been doing is I've been keeping cash in here. Don't get excited, it's a lot of ones. It looks like a lot, it's not. And then I also threw in a couple more of my store credit cards, but I just love this like little lock. And it is held up really nice, and I've been using it and abusing it. I'm not babying this piece at all because I really wanna enjoy it. So that's what I've been keeping cash in. And then that's everything I have in here. I do have an organizer by Zumoni. It's just a red organizer. And then I also have a base shaper. I mentioned base shapers um, before. They really help to keep the structure of the bag and really open it up. And I like to use both. I have a coupon code for a base shaper, which will save you 12%. And then I also have a coupon code for Zumoni organizers, which will save you 20%. Both of those I put on the screen and then I'll also list it down below. But that's everything I have in my bag. This is a great functional functional little bag for sure so all right guys we're gonna go like I said we're getting a little bit of a late start but it's okay we don't have any other plans today so um, we just had a big lunch so I'm actually really full so probably eat something when I get home but I won't be getting pizza in today's vlog no pizza today mate but and then this is gonna be like our afternoon treat. I finally got here and I am so excited to go in the mall and see what I can find. I might pop into Louis Vuitton if it's not too crowded. Let's go guys. Let's see what we can find. There are stains on your photo Little cracks on your rusty frame Okay, my friends, I am back. Usually I will film an update after I go shopping, but things got a little busy last night. I didn't have a chance to. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the items I picked up from the mall. I'm also gonna share with you some items I got in the mail. And then we're gonna do a little bit of some Louis Vuitton discussions about handbags. So first I wanna say this is the second time I'm filming this portion because I filmed the portion and there was a buzzing sound in a microphone. I had gotten a new microphone and I tested it out and then I proceeded to film the rest of the video and the whole entire video had a buzzing sound so I was like, shoot. So I'm using my old microphone now so hopefully the sound is okay. But anyway, that is one of the frustrating parts about filming YouTube videos. You take the time to film the video and then you'll have a buzzing sound or sometimes there won't be any sound. So anyway, we are trying round two. Hopefully this will work. Fingers crossed. So a lot of these items I don't have in the boxes anymore. So it, it's actually good for you. So it'll go a little quicker. So anyway, let's talk about Louis Vuitton first. So I mentioned earlier that I did unbox the Louis Vuitton Lock Me Ever Mini and I was so excited about that bag. I really, really wanted it to work for me. But when I went to wear it the first time, the strap was not adjustable. It was just too short. And I found that because I wear a lot of patterns, it just it wasn't going to fit right in my wardrobe and I think when I tried on the larger size a couple months back in my mind I was thinking that the smaller size had the same type of strap so when I ordered it online I just I don't know what I was thinking I got it and I was like oh shoot so anyway I tried on four different bags when I went to the Louis Vuitton store and I wanted to go over them with you and tell you my thoughts and get your feedback as well 
Do I need another bag? No, I don't, but I'm always on the hunt for a good crossbody casual bag. I tried on the Louis Vuitton Speedy B. You know I have always wanted that. That's been on my wish list. My dilemma with that, I tried it on in the monogram, and there are two things. Number one, the bag has Vachetta. And even though I can spray it with Apple Guard, I thought to myself, I just don't know if I, I feel like I would baby it. And if I get a casual bag, I don't want to baby it. Plus, I do already have the Nano Speedy in the monogram with the Vachetta. So I was like, I don't necessarily want to get the same style of bag in the monogram. That's the first bag. Number two, they did also have the Speedy B in the Damier Ben, which I fell in love with. I tried that on. It had, it was going to be a very carefree bag, but I do have the Speedy uh, in the 35 size. This is not the Speedy B. So I've always been on the fence of even though I feel like I would wear the Speedy B quite a bit, it's like, should I really buy it since I already have the 35? Now I have mentioned to you guys that I bought this bag either before the Speedy B came out or I wasn't able to get the Speedy B. Had I been able to get the one with the strap, I definitely would have opted for that option before I purchased this one. But that's my dilemma with that one. And then I also tried on the very popular Loop bag. But when I tried that on, it was just a little too large. And I don't know, it was cute. It had a chain and I thought it could fit a lot and it would definitely fit that casual lifestyle, but it was just something about it I wasn't a fan of on me. I've seen on other people and it looks great, but on me it just didn't look right. Now this brings me to the Oxford. So the main reason I went into the store, I wanted to try on the Oxford because when I unboxed the Lock Me Ever Mini, a lot of people were commenting saying, hey, have you seen the Oxford? It's very similar to the Pochette Matisse and sure enough it is. It has a back pocket, you open it up, it has the accordion style similar to the Pochette Matisse and it does have an adjustable strap. Now, I tried it on and even when I had it on the longest loop, I still felt it was a little short for me and when I was wearing that bag I thought I still prefer the Pochette Matisse so I don't know let me know your thoughts out of those four bags do you like any of them is there another bag you think that might be great that's a casual bag now I do not need to buy another bag but since I did return that one, I am kind of thinking, well, should I maybe just go with the, the Lock Me in the larger size since that, that's the one I tried on a couple months ago? I don't know, um, to be determined. But again, I hate returning bags, but I really do try to do research, but sometimes things don't work out. You guys know that, but I really do try to do research, but this time around, it just didn't work out. So. I wanted to get your feedback first off on the Louis Vuitton bag, so let me know down below what you think. Now let's get into the fun haul part. I picked up a couple of things and let's start with Nordstrom. So when I was in Nordstrom, I picked up a pair of jeans. They were not on sale, unfortunately, but I have mentioned to you before that I love framed jeans. I have a little more of a curvy figure. I have a smaller waist, but a big old booty, so I have a hard time finding jeans and I love framed jeans. Actually, a couple years ago during the Nordstrom sale, the framed jeans were on sale, so I picked up three pair in the same style. I know that's crazy, but when you find a pair of jeans that work, you just kind of go with it. So I recently picked up a pair of flare jeans in one of my recent vlogs and this time around I picked up the Lahai Skinny and this was just in a different wash. So they're essentially the same jeans I have had before except these don't have any holes. The bottom of the jeans are like frayed and they are super stretchy. So I didn't even try these on in the store. I just felt them. I was like, you know what? They're stretchy. They're definitely going to work. I got them in a size 28. They are equivalent to a size 6 and I feel like they fit me pretty well. But they're really stretchy. So if you're like me and you have a curvier figure, definitely consider the frame jeans. I have tried the Abercrombie jeans. Everyone has told me about those, but honestly, they just didn't work for me. They were still a little too stiff and I need a lot of stretch. I need to be able to move around and sit down and actually be able to breathe in my jeans and that's where these come in. So that's the first thing I picked up from Nordstrom. Then moving on and again, I already unboxed all of these so it will save you guys some time 
I had reached out to my Chanel sales associate to see if she had this item and she said they were sold out but when I was walking through Nordstrom they had it and I actually connected with a lady named Beth who worked there and she was so sweet but I picked up the Chanel Lumiere Graphique this eyeshadow palette and this is so beautiful look at these colors you guys they're so lovely and I have mentioned to you that I like to I don't mind investing in these neutral eyeshadow palettes because I use them a lot the one I have on my eyes today is that YSL eyeshadow palette that I have used and abused it's almost done with so I have no problem investing in these this was a little pricier but it's very beautiful and I will put some swatches up on the screen it's very shimmery as well but these palettes even though they're a little pricier I definitely get a lot of use out of so they're very very beautiful so I picked this up and then I was so excited because I asked her if she had any of the Chanel charms and she did have one of the little Chanel number no. five charms you can collect them I'm sure you guys have seen these all over social media my Chanel sales associate said they were waiting to get them in when I had ordered my Chanel holiday set she said I'm gonna send you a bunch a bunch as soon as I get them in but she hasn't yet but at Nordstrom they had one so I would recommend go to Nordstrom and ask you never know I now when I go in I'm like do you have any free gifts with purchase I'll do that at Dior I'll do that at Chanel because I love getting a free gift with purchase and I loved getting this and then she also gave me a little free mascara as well the volume de Chanel that's a good one it has a good plastic wand but that's amazing those are all the items I got from Nordstrom and speaking of Nordstrom I also have this sweater I had ordered from Nordstrom I don't know if I had shared it with you but I have this one it's a really pretty fuchsia color and then I also have an orange one an orange one that's the one I actually first filmed this in and there was a buzzing sound so I will link both of these sweaters down below if you're looking for some good ones this is kind of more of a cropped the sleeves are a little more of the balloon sleeves but I just fell in love with the color and then the orange one is a little more oversized and I thought that was perfect for fall so those are from Nordy's as well so let's talk about a couple of things I got in the mail we're gonna start with another eyeshadow palette and I know you're gonna say Amber why are you getting so many eyeshadow palettes because I use them and this one was by Tom Ford again I already opened it it is the Tom Ford eye color quad in 01 Lumiere de Ever. I probably didn't say that right forgive me but this is once again beautiful and forgive me my there are my fingerprints in there because I had already opened these I had already filmed this but I will put swatches and this is beautiful so let me do just like a little comparison between the two so you can see what they look like but again because I had used the YSL eyeshadow palette so much I'm like you know what I have no problem investing in these because I use them I don't really change up my eyeshadows too much I love to go for a neutral eye look so this one is nice you have a nice pretty black and then this one has some neutral cool tone eyeshadows so these are just really beautiful and over on Instagram I sometimes will do Instagram stories getting ready so I'll be sure to use both of these or maybe I'll do an upcoming makeup tutorial like I used to if you guys want me to but these are both so beautiful I'll Put the swatches up on the screen keep in mind this one is very very shimmery um, but this color was so incredibly pigmented it really was so this is a beautiful palette again I opened both of those but so pretty okay and then if you guys haven't checked out my Chanel holiday kits unboxing make sure to do that I picked up the majority of the kits with the exception of one I didn't get the one with the mascara and the eyeliner because I don't usually wear eyeliner so I just didn't want to be wasteful but there is a giveaway I am giving one person a lip gloss trio because I know that one's been hard to get and that's popular so make sure to enter that giveaway if you haven't but there was another kit that came out a little later and I wasn't able to show you I did share it with you on Instagram but I want to share it with you here too and this is a really good one it's the start fresh skincare kit now this retailed for $112 but I really think it's worth it because you get two full-size items so first it comes in the beautiful blue bag this is so pretty and then you get two items the first is the anti-pollution water to foam cleanser and this is really nice because it comes with a little pump and then you have the Chanel logo at the top so that's the first item 
And then you get another full size item here. This is the anti-pollution invigorating toner. And this one is blue and it twists and then you just put that on a cotton pad and you use that after you use the cleanser. So you're gonna get both of these items plus the cute little bag for $112. Now, these have been going in and out of stock. I've been sharing them on Instagram, also my uh, YouTube community page. So make sure you're constantly checking back because they will go in and out of stock. I've seen them at Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, the Chanel website. I haven't seen them at Macy's yet. I know they're gonna come to Macy's, but there was one day they would go out of stock and then 20 minutes later, they were back in stock. And so I'll link, the, I'll link all the Chanel kits down below at all the different retailers just make sure you're constantly checking back because you never know and I will continue to share them with you I definitely will I know these are hot commodities but this one I am considering getting another one for myself just because this is a really good value I feel so I wanted to share that kit with you okay I have one more item that I want to share with you and this is actually something I got in the mail and I had been meaning to pick up for a while now but just when I went into Ulta and Walmart and when I you know Target I just never saw it in store so I ended up um, ordering it I will link it down below but I remember seeing this in a makeup tutorial and it is by Honest Beauty and it is the Magic Beauty Balm. I saw Jessica Alba doing uh, Mariana Hewitt's makeup and she used this balm and it looks so beautiful and she said she had a trick so that I was most excited about the trick. So first off, you have the balm. It just kind of feels a little bit like Vaseline but the trick is she said you could take a Q-tip rub it in the balm and then when your makeup is done you can put it underneath of your eyes and apparently it's going to diminish your fine lines i am all about that i am getting older i am 42 now soon to be 43 in january so any type of magic i can do <laughs> you know i'm all for that but this is really beautiful and jessica alba always looks so pretty and actually i watched that video of her and mariana hewitt and sometimes it's like so relaxing because she is a very calm demeanor if you watch Jessica Alba so anyway the balm it's like a Vaseline and you can use it all over so you can kind of put it on the high points of your cheeks as you can see and I have highlighter on but you can see it just it, it makes you a little more like dewy which I'm all about that and this was like under 10 bucks so really, really pretty, and I'm excited to try the little trick. I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow when I do my makeup, but that is what I got in the mail as well. I always love to share that with you as well. So that is everything I picked up. I will be sure to link everything that I mentioned down below as, as well as all the Chanel holiday kits. I'll link my sweaters, everything I picked up, and then let me know your thoughts on the Louis Vuitton bags. You know, do you like any of the four that I tried on? Do you think I should just go with my initial thought and go with the Lacme in the larger size because that's the one I tried on months ago? Again, the little mini was so cute, but I knew, and I'm sure you could tell when I did the unboxing, that braided strap just kind of bothered me and I think when I ordered it well I don't think I thought I think I just kind of assumed that the regular strap came with it because I mentioned I didn't get to try that on in store I just ordered the small one so that's what I get I thought I did enough research but I didn't and sometimes bags don't work for you and because they have such a high price tag you want to make sure if you're not 100% happy that you definitely return it and I definitely wanted to be transparent with you guys to let you know so let me know your thoughts about that and stay tuned because I have a lot of fun and exciting videos if there's anything in particular you guys want to see let me know but in early November I have a video coming up it's a little luxury haul where I have a little item from Louis Vuitton a little item from Prada um, Burberry and then there's a little Chanel item as well I was kind of saving waiting to get all the little pieces in so I could do one like mass haul for you so stay tuned for that if you guys are new to my channel I would love to have you hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you following me on Instagram as well thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day you guys and I'll see you in my next video Wish me